feel like detectives, urban detectives? In a way, yeah. A university researcher and some students find something. Let's take it here. Here on Bay Area Mass Transit. There you go. Never seen before. You found an unusual bacteria that we're just now starting to see in the Western Hemisphere. Tonight, two investigates finds out what it is. Could that bacteria be dangerous? And whether it's taking us for a dangerous ride. So are these buses clean enough to be safe? Safety is the question tonight. Exactly what type of germs and bacteria are riding on public transit along with you? For the first time, a rare bacteria has been found right where passengers sit. And KTVU investigative reporter Ross Palumbo was with the researchers who found it. He's live now in San Francisco. Ross. Well, they found it on a muni bus just like this, on a seat just like this. Thousands upon thousands of people sitting down in things like this. And who knows what is lurking on the seats? Well, tonight, after a two investigation that took some six months, we have finally identified something that has never been found anywhere in the country before. pay up to swipe through, push past, step on, reach up, and sit down on mass transit. Moving through more than half a million trips back and forth across the Bay Area. And along the way, it's mile after mile of touching and grabbing and scratching and tapping on just about everything. So many folks interact and touch surfaces. Also traveling unseen on every surface. You have a lot of transmission occurring. Could be just about anything coming along for the ride. We don't want the spread of diseases happening. Five, five, six. More than six months ago. X, let's go down here. To discover the down and dirty on these seats, two investigates teamed up with SFSU researchers in yeah. general. Do you feel that these seats are relatively clean? I would think so. Her team collected samples. So I'm wearing gloves. To scientifically capture. So it's like food for them. Contain. Get it back in the tube. And culture everything and anything so for analysis. That's your sample. So it's not just whether there is bacteria. It's how much bacteria. It's how much. And, and what, what kind. What don't we want to see on these? We don't want to see things like methicillin resistant staph aureus or the vancomycin resistant staph aureus. So this could make someone really sick. It can. And on Muni. These seats are a lot different. It can possibly. Too. These are harder, and therefore their services look much, um, very easy to clean. So again, they captured. I'm going to swap this guy. Cultured and contained several samples. Okay, samples. Before bringing all of them back to SFSU. That's going to be pretty interesting. And this is not Darlene Franklin's first interesting experiment. In nutrient broths for overnight cultures. Five years okay. ago, in her sterile lab. 11, 12, and 3. She tested Bart's seeds back when they were clothed and found high concentrations of nine types of bacteria, including fecal bacteria, even MRSA, the drug resistant strain that can cause lethal infections. It was enough to get the attention of the New York Times. They listened and they changed the seeds. But now, five years later, she wanted to know if new seeds and new materials would lead to new results. I think it's really important when it comes to public health that we need to know what microbes are traveling with us out there that can make anyone potentially sick. So I'm streaking it across. Six right months now. later, after all of the gathering and growing. How accurate is all this? The complete exhaustive results are finally in. I think this is very accurate. How did it compare with your results from 2011? We didn't find any fecal bacteria. What they did find was only Staph aureus, a common bacteria. Is Staph dangerous? No, it's not. It's a common skin microbe. The cleaner results come from 35 BART crew members constantly sweeping and scrubbing. All 669 cars are lightly cleaned every night, and every four months, at least seven cars are completely sanitized like this. But the biggest change may be from switching the coverings from wool to vinyl. So it's improved. So it's a good move for BART. It is. It actually is a great move that they did that. 
But on Muni, there appears to be some sort of movement in the opposite direction. We did find uh, Staphylococcus. Staphorius bacteria, again, common and relatively harmless, but there was something else. We found this one strain, which was difficult to identify at first. This is it. And after complete DNA sequencing and analysis, they were finally able to recognize it. We were able to identify it as pigmentifaga, and I had never heard of that one. Franklin says it's only been found before in the South China Sea and in Korean wastewater and once in a sick Canadian girl. So you found a very unusual and rare Asian bacteria on Muni. That's what it sounds like. Could that bacteria be dangerous? It could be. But, but you don't know. But we don't know. Isn't that scary? Well, it could be scary, depending on your perspective on it. Is that concerning to you? Again, anything like that is, of course, a concern. John Haley is the man at Muni responsible for the care and cleaning of 1,000 cable cars and trains and buses. Muni's 800 buses are lightly cleaned every night, deeply cleaned every 30 days. Yet SFSU still found this unusual and rare bacteria. At this point in time, do you feel that those seats are clean enough? Is it enough? I think we can always do more. I mean, we're carrying, we're running more service, we're carrying more riders, probably probably can provide us an opportunity to do more cleaning. Muni says it'll now work with researchers to see if this bacteria is dangerous. How would we recognize it? How do we get rid of it? What's the exposure? But until then, there's a lot of germs everywhere. The Bay Area's largest transportation system will still snake through these streets. What are you going to do? Carrying hundreds of thousands of passengers every day. Try to hold the parts that are less used. Both seen and unseen. More research has to be done on it. So this is something we have to keep an eye on here in the Bay Area. I think we should. On a level of 1 to 10, where is your concern? Uh, I would say um, uh, it's a concern. So are these buses clean enough to be safe? They are definitely safe. Oh, and he's apparently moving there, so we apologize. We lost the signal with Ross. But if you have a tip for Two Investigates, we want to hear from you. Just email twoinvestigates at ktvu.com, or you can give us a call at 510-874-0222.